So the Boogaboo Butterfly is right around the corner, and we're super excited about it. Not just because it's a new Boogaboo model, but because it looks like the sort of ultra compact we always hoped they'd produce, while all we've gotten so far is the Ant, which frankly falls short of the mark. We don't have access to the Butterfly yet, as, unlike some reviewers, our opinions aren't for sale, but just from what we can see in the product demos, it already seems like a much better stroller. And so, while we'll of course do a full review of the Butterfly as soon as it hits the stores, Today we're going to go over 7 things about the model that we already know make it better than the Ant. And first off then, and the most obvious in my opinion, is the size of the seat, which, since it isn't reversible, as with the Ant, and is instead just suspended from the handle arms, is naturally much larger. And note that this isn't just about width. Rather, Boogaboo's gone above and beyond with this one, providing one of the longest seat back plus space beneath the canopy dimensions on the market, which, at 63cm, even beats out a lot of full-sized models, and not by a small margin either. Second up is the inbuilt adjustable leg rest, which eventually showed up for the Ant as an accessory for extra cost, but which here comes integrated into the Butterfly, not only, from the demo footage, appearing to have a decent length, but, since Boogaboo advertises the leg rest as doubling as a carry handle, seems to have extra strong hinged adjustment mechanisms as well, which are actually often a major weak point on strollers. Third is the butterfly's handle, which, with its thick arms, substantial hinged locking points, and presence of support struts leading down to the rear frame, seems undoubtedly to be a lot stronger than the ants, whose handle conversely is quite fiddly and has already shown a potential for symmetry issues, sometimes ceasing to lock in place or failing to retract properly into the chassis for folding. Fourth is the Butterfly's more accessible shopping basket. Not that the Ants was that bad, mind you, but in this case, instead of a gimmicky extra magazine rack requiring disassembly if you need a single larger storage space, the Butterfly's basket has an extended lip, a feature that I've always been quite partial to, especially with models like this, where it can otherwise be difficult to get to the basket beneath the slope of the seat. Fifth is the inbuilt shoulder strap, another of those features that eventually showed up as an extra accessory for the Ant, but which has been integrated here as the intended mode for carrying the model, and where, in specific contrast to the Ant's fake suitcase mode, which the entire design of the model was constructed around, means that more weight and resource allocation in the model's general structural design has been applied to more important features. And moving on to bigger, more general differences, sixth up is the overall simplicity of the butterfly in comparison to the ant, both in terms of being far easier to use and also being significantly sturdier in its mechanisms as a result, where, instead of the many steps needed to fold or unfold the ant, the butterfly has a single, one-hand step, avoiding all those transformer origami-like features that suck extra time out of your day and also mean more components that might break or fall out of alignment over time. And last up then, and most promising of all in my opinion, is the model's weight, where, despite being almost identical to the Ant, it's important to remember that the Butterfly has neither a detachable seat frame to contend with, or those hard shell elements on the rear frame. And what that means to me, especially knowing Boogaboo's maniacal emphasis on weight efficiency, and with the Butterfly being so simple in its functions, and with folding down to IATA cabin luggage guidelines, is that, at 7.3 kilos, which is on the higher side for ultra compacts in general, all that extra weight has most likely gone to the model's structural elements, to make it more sturdy. And, with a weight that's more than the Epa Baby Minu, but a folded size closer to the Baby Zen Yo-Yo, this could be one heck of a sturdy model. In any case, as I said in the beginning, soon as we can, we'll scoop up a real butterfly and make a review, going over it with a fine-toothed comb. But until then, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle-related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.